Hello, and welcome back to A Link to the Past. In the previous video, we, for the first time, entered Ganon's Tower. The, no joke, for real this time, final dungeon of this game. But, we're still missing some stuff. We're still missing at least four heart pieces. And apparently there's a couple of items we can still get, so before we tackle Ganon's Tower for real, I want to just gather up all the remaining shit that we have not yet found. Now, full disclosure, I have looked at a guide, because at this point I'm just... I've, I've come this far mostly this far without any help but at this point I'm willing to just just look at what I need to look at just to get everything because I'm probably not going to play this game ever again So, first port of call is a fairy cave. To top up my life bar and my bottles. Call upon our magic duck. Apparently there is a heart piece in the top eastern corner of the swamp. so hard. That's pretty easy actually. Alright. Okay. Next heart piece is around we go to the town. It's near the entrance to the um, Death Mountain, except in the Dark World. So the cave that you would go into to first get to the top of Death Mountain 
it's in there, except in the Dark World version of that cave. on some of these guys is a little bit weird. You see, there it is. I remember seeing that before, but did not know how to get it. Now I know. So apparently, you can use the magic cape to sneak past these things. Who knew? Apparently turning invisible makes you, like, <laughs> invulnerable as well, which is interesting. There we go. Second heart piece. Sweet. And... where I want to go anyway. Alright. So. guys are still going at it. See, there it is, in the top left there, just there. So, to get to that, go all this. Climb up here. Now. 
you notice on that island with the um, the heart walls there's uh, some stairs. Pretty sure we go down here. Pretty sure, yep. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, there's a secret path, like the one that we found inside Ganon's castle, or tower rather. But it's very short and not very complicated. We can just walk over it. Go left. That's way out in there. What's up here? Ooh, fairy fountain. Hello. Right, before we go out there, let's check to see if that's anything worthwhile. It is, okay. Oh, it's some more fairies. This is a really good little cave. Don't need any, but I'll take them anyway. Why not? Aha. So now we're out here. Let's use the magic mirror. Voila! Three pieces of heart. Now, the final piece of heart is super, super sneaky. It is really sneaky. It is highly unlikely very many people at all... Oh, shit. Very many people at all ever found it without the use of a guide. So it requires us to go back to Turtle Rock. There's a part in this dungeon where you go outside briefly, walk along a narrow ledge. We need to get back there. this motherfucker. Fuck you. Past these buggers. Get out of here. Past the chain chomps. Whoop. Shit. Okay. Okay. Down this pipe. In here, and then, oh god, I think it was the left one, I think it was the left one, I think it's the left one, yes, okay, and this should take us south, fuck, Ah, fairy! Are you 
shit. There we go. South and then... Left. Aha! Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, this, this shit. Aha! Here! And of course, if you go in here, this is where the big chest was, I think, where you got the... Yeah. Where you got the mirror shield. However, if we stand here, directly outside the right-hand entrance, we get out the magic mirror. Let's get this out. We are on a ledge in the light world that cannot be accessed any other way. It's incredibly sneaky. Ah, okay. Shits. Bingo. So that's it. We have every single heart piece in the game now. Thank fuck for that. this block for? This single block? Is it there just to get in your way when you're trying to position those guys? Um, nope, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm, gonna get, I'm not going to go back in the dungeon. I'm going to get that the flute. I'm going to have the flute carry me back to the Start of Death Mountain. Oh, piss off, buddy. Get the f fuck out of here. No! Oh, whew. I'm gonna unequip that. I'm gonna unequip that just in case. Go back up here. Whoops. Hang on. Get rid of some stuff. Okay. So. There is a ledge on Death Mountain that only appears in the Dark World. Around here. Here. Here it is. And I think we've been in here before. Yeah, I remember this cave. I remember coming here and just thinking, what? How? And so apparently, um, you need to have the magic cape. And you just, because the magic cape also makes you completely invulnerable to spikes which is interesting don't know the logic of that but all right Of... 
Bina. Bina? I don't know how to pronounce that. Bina seems accurate. If you swing it once, a ring of light will protect you. So this thing creates a temporary shield that lasts as long as our magic meter does. So problem is now we're sort of trapped behind the spikes. Now in theory you're supposed to just uh, get a get back across the spikes using a full health meter and get back just before you run out of health, but instead we're just going to hit select, save and quit. And we're back. Alright. Next item. In just a moment. Okay. Moving on. Hmm. So, the next thing we want requires us to make use of those extra large bombs we can buy from the bomb shop. First, let's take a quick detour back to the fairy pond. There we go. So apparently you've got to escort this bomb all the way back to the Great Pyramid. Hundred rupees a piece, so these are not cheap. And if you run away or you jump off a ledge, it doesn't follow you anymore. Run away! Sneaking past... Up here... And apparently, I don't know what to do. Um... Here? Uh... How would we make it not follow us anymore? Ask how. Ugh. And apparently that blows up like that. And we have ourselves another mysterious pond. can throw in our bow. <laughs> and we have ourselves a fat fairy. <laughs> so 
Silver arrows. So apparently these are a necessary item to finish the game. You cannot defeat the final boss without these. So you'd think the game would be a bit more forthcoming about, you know, the information on how to get them, but no, they're a total secret. Which is kind of insane. What else can we throw in? Uh, what else was there? Was it? Our oh, sword. So now we have a level four sword. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's test this thing out. Okay, kill these things in three hits. Or oh, two hits. Two to three hits for the big Cyclopses. Alright. And I'm willing to bet every single other minor enemy in one in one hit. Except for maybe the centaur enemies on Death Mountain. Alright. One more item. He always says, come back later, but he never, ever, ever has anything else for sale. Hmm. Kind of leads you into a false expectation that he's going to have something else for you, but he never does. So we want to head in the dark world to the location where the blacksmith is in the light world. Ah, see there it is. It's a chest. Because the key is locked inside the chest, you can never open it. Well, that's a dumb design. Just take it with you. Okay. Taking it with us. So, will it follow us? I hope it will. Yeah, it does. It follows us. So the same rules apply. We can't run away or we can't jump off a ledge. So what we need to do is work our way around the map until we get back to the southwestern corner on the path towards the desert. Ah. 
I like how this chest is just willing to follow you, like it's sentient or something. Avoid the ghosts. Red soldiers, one hit. All right. Oh, wait, no, I want to go back. Down here. I think this is where you get to the desert, isn't it? chest. Follow me. Oh wait. Nope. Wrong way. Whoop. Chest. Yeah, this way. This looks better. Fuck those crows. Alright, and then we take it to this man. Promise not to tell. So right, we finally have our fourth magic bottle. So yeah, so now we actually do have everything, finally. Sword, the best shield. Uh, I think there's one other thing you can get, but it's um, I think it's inside Ganon's tower. So you have to go into Ganon's tower to find the final item. But yeah, it's doable. Grab that. Magic. I think I have to go to the witch's hut. To do that. Shh, get the fuck. Still annoying. Ugh. You shit. It's a shame your projectile never upgrades. Hitting a guy with the projectile still does as much damage as a level 1 sword strike. Doesn't... 
does not increase with your sword, which is a shame. So we have three fairies and one life and magic potion. Oh wait, I should have... Yeah, okay. Now we'll buy another one. Didn't think that through, did I? Should have bought a regular one first, then a blue one, but... Oh well, we've got the cash. It ain't a thing. Do. So, yeah. Yeah. So, save and quit. Next video, we will begin attacking Ganon's tower in earnest. Just want to double save, just to... Oh god. Probably won't do all of Ganon's tower in a single video. That is a massive, massive dungeon. We'll, we'll try and do most of it, shall we? At least. I could just do an extra long video. I don't know. See how I feel at the time. Alright. Thank you very much. This has been A Link to the Past. Goodbye. <laughs>